Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. Do I have a great video for you today? This is all about heists. And I'm gonna review these heists from movies that you might know. I love doing this because this is what I kind of did. Before I get started, please check us out on YouTube, member programs, Patreon member program. Let's get right into this. First movie, which is pretty good, was you guys remember Point Break. Point Break was a great movie with uh, Patrick Swayze and they were surfers. They are on time in character. I love this idea of the mask because people will remember these masks. I never use the mask, but I do uh, like this part. And I like that they're all very organized. They have their gloves on. Everybody's in tune and knowing what to do. Everybody freeze! Everybody move! Keep your hands up and your eyes down! Time, Mr. Carter! 60! Now, these guys jumped into that bank. They were quick, they knew it. It was a timing thing. Uh, they knew that the alarm is hit the minute they walk in the bank and they got X amount of time. There's a lot of ways to test that and you should test it. I actually tested that when I did a, a robbery. I was going to set up a robbery in the Bat Harbor Mall. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and please don't forget to vote. I'm not a crook. I did not like the way they uh, the guy had to take his pants down and show thank you on his ass. Not that I care about his ass. Once you write something, that's somebody's signature or somebody's way they write, believe it or not, that's a good clue and the FBI is good. 27 banks. See what they did? In and out in 90 seconds. See that? 27 banks in whatever time. Uh, they knew where the die packs were. They threw those. They did only, they didn't hit the vault, so they were a timing crew, period. There are out there, uh, you don't get many that stay in it long. Because someone rats, someone gets caught in doing something else, and before you know it, the whole crew is down. Oh, I, I swear I didn't do it, I'm not the mastermind, but if I tell you what's going on, this is what's going to happen. And as you said, they sort of thank you, so that's a clue the FBI has. And they're on it. Listen, the reason the FBI is on banks... And the reason I robbed jewelry store, I didn't know the FBI was on me until I got big, is because it's federally insured. And once it's federally insured, the banks get involved. And it's true. It's not worth dying. If you're ever in a robbery, just give anybody what the hell it is. It's, it's always insured. The Place Beyond the Pines. This was a, a, a major one. This is pretty good, too. Here's a guy that did bank robberies on motorcycles. Talk about smart. Obviously, he had the bank cased out well, where to place the bike. He's already inconspicuous because he's in a motorcycle outfit, so people that, you know, that's kind of normal to be in. He does lock the door open. You wouldn't see that, and there's no reason to do that because the door is not locked anyway. Uh, I get why getting out, but you can just open that door anyway. Put your hands in the fucking air! Obviously, it's a timed robbery. When you see something like this, it's gonna be a timed robbery, everybody. Because he knows that the alarm's getting clipped. Got that money out, boy? Go fucking fetch. Fast! Now, in this one, I don't see him worrying about the die packs. They put die packs. They even have transmitters in money. Now, he gets the money, and he runs. Obviously, that would be a die pack in there. I personally like the getaway. Uh, the getaway is great. A motorcycle, the bag, but the bag would again had a die pack or a transponder on it. They even have little trackers on them. And they can even put the trackers today on things. How smart was that? Motorcycle to a truck, nobody's gonna suspect the truck. He put that right in. You could do even that with a car, but that was a great move. I loved it. Thought he did it right. It's quick, in and out. I did not like the fact that you can't, you know, why, how do you know a die pack or a transponder is not in there? I, I always think of the littlest things because that's what's gonna get you caught. It's crazy what they can do with technology now, so it's tougher. Uh, and I, I would worry about that. Next one, the place beyond the pines, his second robbery in this one. Look, he's looking, he sees the glass, that's what messes him up. Guy's voice is funny too, isn't it? Get the bag up! Get the dog 
get the fuck out! Big mistake. Not just the timing. Uh, the biggest mistake, again, that bag, what is in it? He's not, he's getting more desperate. On the motorcycle, look, he can't start it. You don't go into a bank after you case it, which I, apparently he didn't case it enough to know that they put up uh, glass barriers and they do that. Uh, usually they don't do that in all banks and they do that in only in maybe place they've been robbed. So here they did that here, and of course they're still gonna give you the money. They don't want anybody to get hurt, and they're told to do that. Uh, tellers are trained that way, they don't give a shit. But they're trained to give you uh, a thing, notice things. If you ever walk into the next bank you walk in, or even convenience stores, look on the door on the way out. There's actually a measuring stick. And they do that so if they, you know the person who sees you leave can tell how tall you are. But you know, where well, there's a will, there's a way. The guy had balls, but the guy, you know, it was a single man operation. I'm sure he got caught pretty quick after that. Let's go to the next one. Triple nine. Check him. Video check. Check, check. One, two. I mean, they are all covered up, done up, doing the right thing. But always when you have this many people. Now, I used to have three. If you always have this many people, there is always a chance of something going wrong. Uh, you better be really on your game. Okay, they got the bank manager. They planned this one very well. They have a guy out there on monitors. Uh, they have those as well, obviously, and they can, but even beforehand, they must have did the ETA of people around there because if a cop happened to be in that area, he's gonna, his ETA is going to be very quick. If, 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 he, if his area is not there and he's away, he's off lunch or whatever it is, the ETA is going to be longer. But they know, and, th and that's professionals right there. One, two, and one more responding. Three mics in route. You're getting close, Mike. Two and a half minutes. They can tell how quick they're going to get there. Two and a half minutes. He, he didn't even have to talk. He had it numbered, the box they want. All right, let me stop something with these boxes. Usually you need two keys. Even the, even the management can't open it without two keys, the person's key and the management key. Uh, they'd have to drill it. I mean, that's what they do. They drill it if they lose a key and they cost you to do that. They'll drill the lock professionally. Uh, so this safe deposit box was targeted. I don't know if they had the key or not, but whatever's in this box is gonna be valuable because there's only one box. They didn't even look in the box. They know what's in it. Now, obviously, somebody wasn't supposed to take money with red dye that will shoot and explode after it at so many seconds. What happens, that dyes have stuff in it that when it lifts off the bottom, it triggers it and it might wait a minute and explodes or two minutes. I don't know the timing in them, uh, but they are different. They also, again, have the tracking devices. So somebody took something they shouldn't have took and that was planned out. So that was a pretty screw up there. Uh, hopefully they can get away with it, hopefully. Uh, they, they will get away with it. The lookout. Look, I can't do this. You guys do whatever you want. I won't say anything, but I'm just not gonna do it. I understand. Tell you what, why don't you go home, relax, and I'll just send you a check. Obviously, to look out, he was the cleaner of the bank, and uh, his job was to look out uh, since they knew who he was and he was going to be in there. Uh, then he's chickening out. When that happens, let me tell you something how scared I would be if I had a guy that was still involved in a robbery but not able to function because I'd have to watch him as much as watch the cops coming or somebody coming. That's what would get me. They're going through the wall to get into the vault where the money is. Okay, they got a they got a scope on the cops coming and they got a, a lookout. Smart. And that let me let me stop for a second. Also, that lookout would be uh, uh, also what they would do is be a clean car, clean everything. 
and he could be what they call a crash car. A crash car is the guy, like he's normal, but the cops chase on each other and they hit him. Uh, oh my God, I made a mistake. And he's not, he's not, he's clean. There's no way they can do anything about that as well. Hey, Ted. Hey. Cold out, huh? Yeah, I guess. Listen, uh, starting tomorrow, Philip Costello's gonna be taking over my shift for a while. How come? You forget, uh, baby? Yeah. Anyway, I just wanted you to know. In this heist, you know, I'd be scared as hell. How do you know he didn't wink? How do you know he didn't do something? How do you know he didn't mouth being robbed or something? And the guy, you know, I, I, I could, you know, I, I have to handle things differently. Now, let me stop something like this. Normally, this kind of banks don't have a lot of money in them anyway. Even in their vaults, they don't have millions of dollars in their vault. You ever call your local bank and ask for 10,000, 12,000? They might say, well, we don't have to. We have to get it from another bank. You know, they don't carry cash. There might be certain days and times and payday and paycheck day. It's not like it was years ago, everybody. In today's world, everything is debit and credit and everything else. So it's very rare that you see this anymore. Go and get it. They're having him go in to get the money. That's actually a smart move. He can't do anything while he's in there. He's just gonna pass the money out. Cash is king though, man. You get that kind of cash, you don't gotta cut it. You're not getting 30% on a dollar. You're getting cash. Let's go to the next one. Quick change. I'm robbing the bank. What the hell kind of clown are you? The crying on the inside kind, I guess. Oh, look, I'm just an old man. Really? Yeah. Let's go. I love the guard. That's what they are. Come on, what do you think he's gonna put his life on the line for that? It's all bullshit show. I'm an old man, here's my gun. I got a kick out of that one. You notice the alarm being hit. Always. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. Button it up, pal. <laughs> Nobody likes a whiner. I was watching the reaction of that guy, and believe it or not, uh, the reactions of robbery victims are, 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 you don't know. I've had them laugh, had them cry, you know, almost pee their pants. So you just don't know the real reaction or what they're going to do. Okay, we're all going into the vault now. Keep your hands on top of your head. Come on out, everybody. Let's go. Do as he says, everyone. This will all be over with presently. Obviously, there's a deeper thing to this movie. Uh, he has the plan set. But you can take over a bank like that. Obviously, you can. Most people don't have weapons, but in today's world, depending on where you are, there might be a weapon in there. Uh, the banks don't have weapons, and they're not going to shoot. Their insurance policies tell them that. Don't do it. Just give it away. We'll get the money back from the government and insured, and they'll get all the stuff. Be observant is what they tell them. Let's keep it going. Den of Thieves. This is a sophisticated job. This is so sophisticated. Whenever I see robberies like this, I think of one thing. If you have this much money, why do you want to do the job? It almost makes no sense. Now they have everything. People are gonna shut down electric, this. I mean, you're not talking a little job and there's more people involved, the more chance of people, something slipping. Going through multiple checkpoints to get in. All of this figured out, the trucks, everything. Dolly's full of money. You heard him say it earlier, 2.2 million. You see how they have to wheel it around? They don't carry it around. You see in movies. That's bullshit. They got guys on the streets and electrical companies everywhere. Now in these places, these are, uh, I mean, they say savings and loan on this thing, but it's really, it's gotta be a, a mega, it's, you could never do something like this. You know how much money that is? This is like a depot. It's got a jamming device. These criminals got some some really good technology. They got jammers and video monitor jammers. They're knocking out power. Now you gotta think of that. You know how much money with this would cost? Forget about it. And I know you're robbing a lot, but I don't know many people who have that much that wanna keep doing it at that level. Luigi, man, he's stepping all over the line. He's hot like a motherfucker. 
He's in the cafeteria. Go ahead and get him. Hi, right, Roger that. I'm stepping out. They do have good protocols in place or policies on what to do. You have to, you know, remind them we're going out, we're in. Everything that's going on is pretty good, smart. You're clear, go. What I did not get when they cleared this place and they had a power outage, wouldn't you let the guards leave or they gotta get out of there? Any secure room that much that would have sensors on it. Anything that happened like that, anybody in that vent, it would go off. So that's kind of, you know, it wouldn't be a lack of security like there. These guys prepared for everything. You know, a pretty good plan, uh, obviously. Uh, you know, technology and, and stuff. But again, those places are prepared for that. I mean... Yes, you know, when I was younger, I used to dream about that. Literally dream. Oh, my God, I wish I could get one of those, you know, the, the warehouses where the Wells Fargo main house, they say there's 30, 50, 100 million in there. You know, if you're going to rob, that's the way to rob. Don't rob. Let's go to the next one. Widows. Hey. Hey. You see what it is? They had somebody on surveillance of some sort and they used a diversion tactic. I did the same thing. I threw Molotov cocktails to divert people away. I tested it to see if it worked. It would have worked. I never pulled that job off. But that's what you do. That's being smart. Yeah, it's a night operation. Uh, if you got this technology, you might as well have night goggles. Obviously, you don't need them if you're in light, but you would need them. I like that they use the taser, and I also like that you can't recognize their voice. That's pretty cool. Now, obviously, they're robbing some kind of house. Uh, I, I guess it's got millions or whatever it does, but it, it's somebody's, like, residence. Now, this is a private vault again. Uh oh, look what the guy did. He's panicking. The other guy turned it around. He had it upside down. What a moron. They're in. Let me stop you on a lot of these very special vaults, whatever they are. They have uh, timers on them. You can't open it at a certain time, period. It won't unlock. There's time like that. And I don't know what, what this one's about. Probably not, but pretty easy if you can get some of the six codes and they get in. Shit, I gotta be honest. That money, man, makes you excited. It gives you a heart on <laughs> I mean, I don't know. As a criminal, you think, wow, look at all this fucking cash. Look at that cash. Only person who could own this without being a, a government agency or a bank is a drug dealer. See the way they strap those uh, things on their back? Pretty cool. Hands in the air. I use pillowcases. Look at this guy coming out. Hands in the air. They just throw their hands up. Hands in the air. And they start dropping guns. Who the fuck are you? <gasps> Obviously, these people aren't killers. I mean, you can't be panicking like that. Everybody got away. What's he doing? He's losing blood. This reminded me so much of what my brother got hit, and, and I was going to take him to a hospital. Obviously, he didn't want to go, and it was kind of like this. You, you know, it's the nerves, really. That's when you got to have your shit together. You guys take off. I'm going to stay with you. I'm going to stay. Now they're taking off, leaving their partner there at the hospital. They're caught. The minute you go to a hospital with any kind of gunshot wound, it's police and everybody else involved. Unless you can explain what happened and they're still going to investigate it, you're in trouble. Obviously, this house, they robbed the house. Guy gets killed. Eventually, someone, that lady who they didn't kill. These weren't killed. 
this things go wrong and they gotta fix that. I mean, things happen. Great stuff, great scenes, but I will tell you, they're different scenes. And what I mean by that is there was a lot of technology, a lot of stuff. Uh, it was fun to watch. Obviously things change, but you know, the core of robbery stay the same. That's why I know what I'm doing. Uh, that's why I spot different things than you do. But all of these had a little twist to it that made it pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay strong, everybody. Don't make bad choices. Don't think you can rob something and get away with it. It's not easy and it's not worth it. Stay strong, stay safe, make good choices. Don't go to prison. Have a great day. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please pass this on and I'll see you next video.